Hey guys, I want to talk about Australia's renewable energy target. Who's yes. excited, yeah? Yes. All right, I appreciate the enthusiasm. I'll go right ahead then. The renewable <laughs> energy target is meant to ensure that 20% of electricity used in Australia comes from renewable energy sources by 2020. That's power from natural things that don't run out, like solar, wind, hydro, the kinetic energy generated from high-fiving every time Justin Bieber does something stupid. Justin Bieber was kicked out of Coachella, and that is after he was placed in a toehold. Initial forecasts suggested that to hit 20% by 2020, we needed to generate 41,000 gigawatt hours from renewable sources. But here's the thing. Each year, Australia is using less electricity. Large energy-consuming industry like manufacturing is decreasing. Our homes use less power, thanks to better-designed white goods. And we're using less power because it's bloody expensive. I've even stopped straightening my hair. Because we're using less electricity, when Tony Abbott became Prime Minister, he broke his election promise not to review the renewable energy target and insisted on reviewing the renewable energy target. To do the review, the government put the best man on the job, Dick Warburton, former oil man and chairman of Caltex and climate change sceptic. I'm a sceptic only to the extent um, that I believe the science is not settled. Yeah. That's, that's what makes you a sceptic. It's like Elmo saying he's only a puppet to the extent that he has a hand up his ass. He's a puppet, you're a sceptic. Think of, yeah, I've got that round the right way. Not surprisingly, Dick recommended we slash the target and not surprisingly, the Coalition agreed, suggesting we cut it from 41,000 gigawatt hours to 26,000 or what they call a real 20%. But this cut needs bipartisan support. And for more than a year now, the government and Labor have been fighting it out. Don't worry, I'll save you the boring detail. But as it currently stands, after some negotiation, the government has come up to 32,000, and Labor, with the support of industry leaders like the Clean Energy Council, has come down to 33,500. That's a difference of just 1,500 gigawatt hours. And both parties refuse to budge. Sure. They acknowledge we are elected to talk to each other and try and seek to find common ground. But instead, they've argued. And while they've argued, we've been getting our ass handed to us by the 143 other countries around the world with established renewable energy targets. While they argued in 2013, Austria generated 68% of its electricity from renewables, Sweden 61%. While they argued in 2014, Scotland generated 50% of its electricity from renewables, our Kiwi friends almost 80%. And while they've argued in 2015, so far, Costa Rica has managed to run completely on renewable energy. And as a result, this week it was revealed that between 2012 and 2013, while the rest of the world reportedly added 800,000 jobs in the clean energy sector, Australia lost 1,710 jobs. Last year we lost another 590. What's wrong with us? It's been reported the only other country in the world to experience a decline in renewable investments last year due to regulatory changes was Italy. This is a nation that has so blatantly accepted climate change, they've already built a city that's permanently flooded. <laughs> Look, since Tony Abbott became PM, investment in renewables has dropped 88%. Renewable jobs have fallen 15%. And renewable energy companies say that we're risking more than $10 billion worth of existing investment. And I don't think Tony cares. I don't think you even care. You spend most of this report thinking about going to YouTube to relive Bieber being choked out of Coachella. The truth is, no one cares. So let this be the first news report for an audience that doesn't exist. Not only are the people this affects not watching and not voters, they're not even born yet. It's the generations to come that will look back and see this for what it is a willful disregard for the future of this nation by the people we've elected to lead us. Oh. Wow. I mean, that should be played in schools. It should. That should be played in schools. I think oh. that's, it was absolutely wonderful, Ali. Congratulations to you and Tom for, for making wonderful. One error. I think people do care. Mm. I think they really, really do care and their voices are not being heard. Mm. And it is like we are being led by the Flat Earth Society. Australia is in the perfect position to do exactly what you're saying. We have space, we have wind, we have sun, we have mm. waves, we have currents. Thank you for bringing that on board. Yeah. Particularly when you inject a little bit of Elmo in there. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Yeah. I'm, I'm with Big Bird on this, that absolutely. Whole thing, that whole thing was just an excuse to get Elmo into the show. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we do have to go to a break, though. We'll be back in a second.